Josh, congratulations. Thank you very much. When you start on your Kazoo World Championship debut, how would you assess your performance up there? Not great. <laughs> 93 average is not my game at all, but at the same time, everybody said the pressure was on me. And I said I didn't feel the pressure, but <laughs> when you go up on stage, I felt the pressure, but I think it caught me okay. The 150 finish in the, in the third set seemed to spark you into life. And the last two sets are probably as good as we've seen so far. 100 average over those last two sets, so something to build on there. Uh, well, that's, well, I didn't know that, but there's something to build on exactly. The first set I played okay, the second set I didn't play great at all, but whenever we went on the break for that second set and came on, as soon as we stepped on the stage, everything just felt right. Mm. Even before I left up the dirt to practice, it just felt right. Um, I think that was the difference. You mentioned the pressure and the build-up coming into this. You seem to deal with everything in your stride so far, but has that been a little bit difficult? You know, sixth favourite, for example, in your debut. Is <laughs> no, that's not a bad thing, to be no. quite honest. Um, but for, I don't even know where I am in the world, you know, and being sixth favourite in the World Championship, that's a bonus, to be quite honest, in my opinion. It's been an incredible year for you on debut, record-breaking averages, TV9 data, World Youth Champion. Your confidence must be sky-high right now. Of course it's sky-high. I'll not complain, but... I just know I didn't play my game there at all, but that's the monkey off my back and I'll perform next time. And Callum Ridge in the second round, the way you've played over the last 12 months, you must be really confident having a great run here. Oh, I'm confident I have a good run because, as I said, that's the monkey off my back, so I'll not complain. Perfect, Thank you very much. Josh, congratulations. You've taken everything in your stride so far in your career, but just what was it like to at the top of that walk on as John McDonald introduced you? I don't really hear him, to be very honest. <laughs> I'll be honest, I didn't hear him say my name whatsoever because the crowd was just going absolutely ballistic for, in my favour, which I thought was phenomenal. But at the same time, it was a good film. When did the nerves hit when you got on the stage? When I couldn't have a treble 19. <laughs> <laughs> to be quite honest, I, I, I didn't understand the way my game was going. I know the pressure was supposedly on me because everybody's watching me, but I was shocked I couldn't have a treble 19 at all. And it was really starting to frustrate me. Are you taking it all in, what you've done this year so far on your, your debut year? World Youth Champion here at Alexandra Palace, riding this crest of a wave? To be quite honest, no. I haven't even looked at what I've done this year. I think when it comes to January, if I win the world, bonus. But I think after January, I think I'll probably sit down and look. And Josh, you've done a good year. Now that you've been here, so many players say it takes them aback. Do you still believe you can go on and win the Kazoo World Championship? I don't believe now. Of course, that's that's the monkey off me back. You have, it's hard to win your first game when you've never played in that stage before. It doesn't matter if you practice darts behind the scenes or whatnot, but whenever there's a full crowd, and it doesn't matter who you're playing, you need to play your game. Josh, Thank you very much. Josh, how do you go about blocking out all the talk and expectation that's been put on your shoulders in such a short space of time? Uh, I just don't really look at it, to be quite honest, because... If I start thinking about it and listening to other people, it'll affect my game. So I don't actually listen to anybody or anything says. It's been an amazing year for you. I'm confident now because is it, that's the monkey off my back. So whatever happens, happens. But I know for next time, the be a different George Rock on that stage because there's no pressure on me anymore. Yeah, exactly, because there's a lot of people who came here and it's took them years to win their first game. I came here my first year, that was my goal, win my first game. I'll just go on from that. Thank you. Josh, the you've a mid-90s average and not happy with yourself, does that show where you are? Yeah, I think it does, to be quite honest, because I know what I can do. And I think a 93 average is a poll, to be quite honest, because I know what I can do. And I should be doing it all the time, but at the same time, when the pressure's on you, it's very hard to do it. Callum was a quarter finalist here last year, but you're going to go you're going in there as favourite. Does that reflect the year he's had and the year you've had? Callum, uh, I'm very good friends with Callum. Callum's had a really deep year, but there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes with Callum, and I respect them how he's been dealing with it. But at the same time, he's a player, I'm a player, and I'm going to try and do my job, and he'll try and do his job. So whoever the better player. Is the better player who's going to win. You're sort of the person that looks at the draw, you sort of plot the draw really through, the, through the field? No, I just I looked at the first round and I was looking to see obviously who, if I'd won, who would play in the second round and I was happy enough with the draw, but you don't know what's going to happen, so we'll see what happens. Thank you. Josh, uh, what did that game specifically teach you about your game? <laughs> no temper, <laughs> because I was very frustrated, because I knew I wasn't playing the game I know what I can play. So I learned from that control your emotions. At the same time, there was pressure on me because 
everyone is expecting me to get far. And as people say, I'm sick favourite to win. I don't look at it that way, but from the year I've had, people are expecting me to do well. And I think I put the pressure on myself stupidly, but I caught weight okay and I got the job done. And when you have an amazing year like you've had, do you look at your game and still see those areas for improvement? There's a lot of improvement, to be quite honest, with my game. I know there is. But to be quite honest, I think that's the first time we showed frustration in the stage because I knew what I can do, but I was putting too much pressure on myself because I know my ability and what I can produce. So that was a learning curve, as I said, to control my emotions, and I learned very highly of that game. As you set new records and as you win more time tournaments, how have your goals adapted going forward? To be quite honest, I didn't have really many goals this year. The only goal I had was to get here. And that was the only goal I had in my mind, was to try my best to get here. I've done that on my first game, so I've achieved what I want to achieve this year alone. Excellent, thank you. Thank you very much. Josh, congratulations for that. Thank you very much. Victory. Um, as I remember right, it was the first time that you played a PDC tournament in uh, the set mode. Um, how did it go for you? I went okay with the first set, the second set I didn't play my game at all, but in general I didn't play my game the whole way through. But when that 150 check out went in and I started off with a 140 straight after it, I felt very comfortable after that. 47-48% on the doubles, was that the best part of your game today? That's a shock because my doubles are usually horrendous, to be, to be quite honest. But I was happy when I heard that my doubles were 48% because that's usually a weak point in my game with my heavy score. I'm not a great finisher, but to be fair, it was different today. My scoring wasn't great, but my finishing was good, so different. You told me before that you don't really practice that much at home. Was it different before the World Championship? Was there an, another kind of uh, preparation? Uh, well, this week alone, the, the, the three-day practice session, to be quite honest, I practice three days in a row. Weirdly, because I don't do that, because whenever I come over here, I do all my practice and my preparation, which I've done, I've been here since, what? Saturday, I've been here since uh, Thursday. I've done all my preparation from then. And I think I'll go back and actually practice for a change. You, many people, experts, pundits, and so on and so forth, say you are the, the big, the favourite in the second round against Callan Ritz. Um, how strange does that feel when you are just, well, 10, 11 months uh, a professional player on a top? Uh, it feels very weird, of course it does. It feels weird being sick for it to win this whole tournament. To be quite honest, but that's the bookies, they, they don't know how you'll play. Because Josh Rock can turn up with his A game, or Josh Rock's going to turn up with his D game and get beat. But that's just the way it goes. That last one for me, how do you spend the next uh, days until the second round? I'll spend the next couple of days with my, my fiance Sarah, preparation, and I'll just join me a couple of days off. But I'll also practice with them days because I will prepare better to play Callum Ridds. Thank you very much. Josh, just one last one. Everyone talking around, talking you up and your chances here. Premier League as well. <laughs> Do you feel that you can force your way into that conversation with what you've done this year if you can perform here as well? Oh, it'd be nice. The only one place what plays in Belfast, of course, my hometown. It'd be nice if they do the contender thing again because I like to think I would get the contender spot because playing in front of your home crowd would be the best thing, I think, in my life, to be quite honest. But, uh, well, sorry, second best if I win the World Championship, but when you play in front of your home crowd and get the reception that I know, the best reception I've ever seen was Willie O'Connor when he was in Dublin. That was one of the greatest receptions i ever seen in my life. And I hope one day if I play in Belfast, I would get even better. Thank you.